I've made a choice to open this show with a joke section. Ooh, and some of you are thinking, well, it's an hour-long show, isn't it? <laughs> there will be more jokes as well, relax, okay? But uh, I'll open up with the joke section so we can see where, like, the early laughers are. Uh, before we get into that, yeah, I'll explain. Some of you are thinking, is he going to mention it? <laughs> yeah, I've no... Yeah, uh I do look a bit frazzled. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough for mentioning it. Fair enough. Uh, I'm sorry if I do appear a bit frazzled, a bit stressed out. Um, I spent all of last night trying to burn a candle at both ends. <laughs> it is worth listening to the warnings. And that is a trick. We're already in the joke section. Okay, so some of you need to up your game. You slacked off early on. <laughs> do you know the Chuckle Brothers? Do you know they uh, didn't have kids? You know they didn't have kids? Because one had a vasectomy, me, the other had a vasectomy. to you. <laughs> We've kicked off. That's a straightforward joke. We're going. We're having a good time. It's happening. I like my coffee like I like my countries. Togo. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Espresso on the streets. Cappuccino in the sheets, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I keep spilling my coffee. Okay. Bricklaying. That's a weird job. Bricklaying's a weird job. You get paid to fuck bricks. <laughs> I didn't last a day. <laughs> Get out of here, Lords. You shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, a bit dirty, that one. Bit too dirty. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll give you an edgy opinion. Yeah, some of you are thinking, finally, an edgy opinion. Yeah, I like seeded grapes. <laughs> That's upset a few of you. A couple of walkouts, fair enough. <laughs> no, I like seeded grapes because it means the matches in the later rounds are between better grapes. <laughs> I think we can admit, though, I'm a pretty quirky boy. Very quirky. Yeah, some of you have been thinking, is he going to mention how quirky he is? Yes, I know how quirky I am. Very quirky boy. In fact, I'm so quirky that I actually swapped around the K and the T on my keyboard. <laughs> that one, There's going to be a few breakout sessions on that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, walking home tonight. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. I understand also, by the way, this section is stressful. I understand how stressful this section is for you as well. You're, you, All of you in here want to win, win Best Audience Member, but every time I start speaking, you're thinking to yourselves, oh, no. In about six seconds, I'm going to have to either laugh or just stare at him. <laughs> that is stressful, OK? So I'll give you some impressions, all right? Ease the room. This one uh, is an impression of a restaurant. Finally, someone's had the courage. OK. <laughs> little impression of a restaurant. Go on, then. Have as much salt and pepper as you like. <laughs> that's good, isn't it? That is, you're like, yeah, I recognise that. That is a restaurant. And that's half the battle, recognising them. Not an Italian restaurant, though, is it? They keep the pepper to themselves. I'll <laughs> <laughs> uh, do a little impression of someone who, for, for anyone who's ever messed up at work. Yeah, we've all been there. OK, this is a hitman who's turned up to do a hit, but they've forgotten to screw the silencer onto their gun. <laughs> Oh, very relatable stuff. Tough job, tough job, very tough. Now, the impressionist life chose me, right? I didn't always want to be an impressionist. When I was younger, I wanted to be a coach driver. I wanted to be a coach driver. I took all the coach driver tests, but I failed it because I couldn't break the DVD player. <laughs> okay, so that's a room splitter. That's what's known as a room splitter. You know, half the people, you know, the people who've been on coaches, and then the other half, the people who say things like, do you ski? <laughs> Do you ski has never been said by a good person. <laughs> it's never the precursor to, uh, because I've actually set up a bursary for underprivileged people to get access to that sweet powder. <laughs> That's the joke section, we're through it. Yay! That's exciting. Yeah, a little round of applause for you. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. Thank you. Now, um, oh, I should mention, I know I'm wearing this. So a lot of you thinking, is he going to mention it? I know I'm wearing it. It's a very cool item of clothing, the gilet. Very cool for the arms. Not as cool as my friend Charlie, though. My friend Charlie would always wear a shell suit, and I could not hold a candle to that. <laughs> and that's a trick. We're still in the joke section. <laughs> Some of you slacks off. <laughs> also, did that joke section have a burning candle at both ends? This show has got some structure already, baby. 